toast and chocolate spread. Please. Please. Um. Um, no. Why not? Because we're having muesli. You don't even like it. Yes, I do. Look. Mmm. 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 Why don't you go to your mum's for tea tonight? I've already told you, no. She'll give you chocolate spread. I don't care. I'll be working. Michelle's got wedding stuff to do. I'm sure I can find time to make her something. Yeah, but it would be easier if she went next door. No. She shouldn't have to if she didn't want. <sighs> you need to get him off my back. Look, Amy. I'd hate for him to find out about Will. Drink. Oh, I can't. Come on, I need your help moving back to number eight today. You were so embarrassing last night. I'm sorry, I got a bit drunk. That's an understatement. Do you remember locking yourself in the loo? No. I didn't say anything bonkers, did I? Uh, you said that Todd was the best boyfriend you've ever had and that you can tell him anything. Wouldn't I say that? You're like a gay man's best boyfriend you've ever had. Right, that's enough. She ruined my party. I'll ruin your life if you don't put a sock in it. What do you do, Mum? Historic moment, you two not scoffing everything in sight. I'm trying to cheer you up. I'm going to work. You've not eaten anything. You've hardly slept. Why don't you take the day off? If I don't keep myself occupied, I'll crack up. He looks terrible. So would you if you were in the frame for murder. Brew? Uh, ta, yeah. Uh, Sean wants one too. So, you can tell the police about Sarah's confession. You've got to do what's right. I know. Right, come on, last mouthful. <laughs> Good lad. Oh, you're much better at getting him to eat than I am. That's because he knows if he don't finish it, I will. I'm going to take the day off next Monday, by the way. Come to court with you. There's no need. I want to be there. And you sure it's right to plead not guilty, yeah? Can we not have this argument again? I had the Connors take it, by the way. They aren't going to keep your job, yeah? I kind of got round to telling him yet. What? There's not been the right time. Come on, if they find out you've been to court and you haven't told them... I will tell them today, all right? You promise? I promise. Hiya. Welcome home. Hiya. So, come on then, what have we missed? Uh, well, quite a lot, actually. I'll tell you later. How are you feeling? Yeah, OK. We raised a glass to Cal on his anniversary, didn't we? Just glad we weren't here. Are oh, you all right? Oh, oh yeah. How was uh, Yasmin? Yeah, bear enough. Good time with your dad? Yeah, we went fishing. Fishing? Well, he was in the Navy. <laughs> yeah, he's grown one of them beards. Oh, like a hipster beard. I think he looks cool. So, how's the bistro? Wedding go off all right? What, you've not heard? Heard what? I'll tell you later. Come on, let's get in, eh? Yeah, see you later. See you later. You sure I can't come with you? No, it's no need to compromise yourself. Makes no odds if I tell him. This is the right thing to do, isn't it? Oh, come on, don't start changing your mind now. No, it's just that... Well, what does God say? Huh? God advocates truth. Right, there you go. Yeah, but he would also want us to protect him. A damaged, vulnerable girl. You killed someone. Someone my brother's accused of killing. I want to go back to bed. No, you need to help me pack. Anyone would think you'd never had a hangover before. She wants to be at the library revising. Oh, well, whatever. No, she's right. Go on, run. You'll make that bus. Ah, uh, too late. Missed it. Never mind. we will be another one along soon. I want to see that library card when you get back, too. You better go in. They don't do library cards in law. Whatever. I look like I've even been to a library. What are you doing here? I'm not well. Well, what's the matter with you? I'm depressed. That's not even funny. Wasn't a joke. You can't just walk out of school. I'll get in trouble. Why not? You took time off when you were depressed. 
Amy? What? Well, if they don't, I... Uh, let me... Why, so you can tell her this behaviour's fine? No. We need to be firm with her. OK, just let me deal with it. Robert and Carla, I can almost believe. Tracy blackmailing Carla, I can definitely believe. But Robert going along with it and taking the bistro from Nick? Well, he, he said he didn't know about the blackmail. How well, is Nick? He's not good. He's been away. I think he's back today, actually. Right, and he's gone to see him. Shall I make us some lunch? I beg your pardon? Oh, so I started cooking. Really? Yeah, he made us lasagna in Portsmouth. And salad with a French dressing. Oh, well, very posh. It's all about the flavourings. I'm thinking simple ham sandwiches today, though, with a bit of mustard, maybe. Right, well, uh, just put hold of mine, will you? I need to go see Nick. If you want to stay here full time, you're going to have to start behaving. Oh, really? Have you been behaving? You're not helping me to fight your corner, Amy. I hate men. Oh? Sam dumped me. What? I thought you were the one having second thoughts. I was until he dumped me, and I'm dead upset. And he did it in the lunch queue, in front of everybody. Why? Maybe you heard my mum's a cow. Thinks I'm the same. I'm sure he doesn't. I am like my mum now. Well, that's not quite true. You're lying. That's all any of you do. You, my mum, Sean. I heard you talking about Will yesterday. You're all lying all the time. Amy, listen, I know you're going through a difficult time at the moment, but you can't carry on like this. Bunking off school, cheeking me and Michelle. Oh, really? Yes. Maybe I've got a good reason. Like what? Sorry, Billy. Is there actually something you wanted? It's just, uh... We're in the middle of packing. Yeah, I just, um... Just wanted to check you were okay. I'm just hungover. I do worry about you, Sarah. No, I'm fine, honest. Why don't you, um... Why don't you come to church with me? Oh, it's not really my thing. We can still be very comforting, peaceful. I just, um, just know that whatever happens, I'm, I'm here for you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Billy. Amy, if you've got something to say, just say it. Otherwise, stop acting like a five-year-old. She's just upset because Don't she's... you dare tell him about Sam. What about Sam? I wasn't going to. We had a private conversation, Amy. I don't tell other people's secrets. What about Sam? Nothing. Why don't you ask her about Will? Who's Will? It's just another boy in her school. Do you really want to be like your mom, Amy? Because right now you're doing a really good impression. Somebody please tell me what's going on. She's just, uh, she's just had an argument with some of the boys in her class. I think we should just give her some time to cool off. <sighs> Girls. Sometimes I wish I had a boy. You wanted to see me? I know who killed Callum Logan, and it wasn't my brother. Who was it then? It was his dad, Tony Stewart. It happened. Can you describe the exact circumstances of this confession? Yeah, um, we were in the Rovers. He was drunk. He told me he'd killed Callum and torched his car. 
Actually, no, that, that's not exactly what he said. Tell us as exactly as you can. He said he torched his car. I said he was mad. You know, that Callum would come after him. Tony just laughed. I said, you know, what's so funny? And he said something like, Callum wouldn't be coming after anyone anymore because he was dead. I said, what are you on about? And he said, I just killed him. Did he say how he'd killed him? Where? No, no, he didn't. No, I, I mean, I asked, but he said I was better off not knowing. And you believed him when he said he'd killed him? Mm, not really, no. I mean, I suppose I didn't want to believe him. But then when the body turned up under the garage that Tony had been working on, you know... It's very convenient you coming forward now, when your brother is a suspect. You know, why didn't you tell us earlier? Why? Because I was scared of being implicated. I was mates with Tony and it was no secret I hated Callum. Are you willing to sign a statement testifying to the truth of everything you've just said? Yeah, I am. And I'm just sorry I didn't come forward before. I'm a coward. Oh, Nick, come here. Oh. Oh, you look terrible. <laughs> Thanks. You don't like the tired and shaven look. It's not very you. Don't know what is me anymore, Leanne. Yeah, well, Cal is her own worst enemy. Yeah. Mine, it would appear. Well, she'll be feeling a lot more miserable than you right now, trust me. Right, well, she'd have to be lower than rock bottom. <sighs> Look, I know it sounds like a cliche. But you will bounce back. Bounce back to what? Well, you've got family, you've got friends. And no business. Well, maybe you could buy it back. <laughs> Send me that. Well, Robert's a reasonable man. Look, I know he is. OK, he slept with my fiance. He took my business through blackmail. Well, Eva said that Tracy did it all behind his back and he has dumped her, hasn't he? I mean, he's sane. I'm reasonable. Robert's got what he always wanted. His own restaurant. He's not going to give that up. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. All right, one's the word. Gotcha. Come on. Yeah, how's Rosa? Good. How's the one over Good. Come on, you've got about three blazers. I'll sort it. OK. I'll come give my love to Rosa. See you later. Bye. Do you want to put in the over? Come down. Is that there? Yes. Where do you want them? Just over there in the corner. Tim! Hi, Soph. What are you doing here? I've just come to pick up my mum's blazer. I need to take it to the dry cleaners. Oh, I'll do it. No, it's fine. I've got a break. No, no, you, you go and um, go and enjoy yourself. I'll, I'll, I'll take the blazer out. OK. Well, there's a summery one with a peplum. P peplum? Mm. OK. Did I just say Craig in there? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm helping him with his um, homework. You? Mm, practical science. <sighs> See ya. Come in. Mr. Connor? Yes. <sighs> Sorry. I need to tell you something. Uh, you're not uh, pregnant, are you? Uh, thank heavens, I ain't losing good workers. It's, um... Uh, you're managing your pain OK? Cannabis helping? It's kind of to do with that. All right. I'm up in court next week. I'm up for assaulting an officer. <sighs> what the hell did you do? I was in pain and he wouldn't let me take my painkillers, so I ran over his foot in my shirt. And, yes, it was on purpose. You do realise this puts me in a very difficult position. Oh, please don't sack me, Mr Connor. I love this job. I don't want to lose it. And I don't want to lose you. But I can't just let you continue working. How will that make me look? I need the money. What about Jake? <sighs> I'll suspend you on full pay. How's that? 
of all pay? Spend the next week with Jake, do whatever you need to do, go to court, give him hell, and your job will be waiting here for you when you're done. What is going on in there? Um, I told you, practical science. I can smell beer. Well, I'm explaining the uh, fermentation process via the homebrew kit that your mum gave me. Why are all the windows covered up? Because we're preparing a surprise for her. <laughs> what surprise? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Tim, I don't believe uh, you. No, we're making a cake. A beer cake. A what? Well, you've heard of carrot cake, haven't you? Well, this is a, this is a, a, a beer cake. It's got a very moist, distinctive taste. She's going to love it. Well, I'm not sure about that. You won't say it, will you? All right. All right. Tana. Got to grease the tin. That was a close call. Mm. Where you all go when you're upset. I'm sorry I said that about your mum. Does everyone hate her? No. I don't want everyone to hate me. No one hates you. Don't you? Of course I don't. I love you, Amy. Do you love me dad too? Very much. What about Will then? <sighs> okay, look. <clears throat> Will was my first proper boyfriend back at school. Must have been years ago. Oh, thanks. Oh, when we broke up, I was really upset. A bit like you are now about Sam. So then, when he came and asked me to organise his wedding recently, it kind of stirred up some old feelings. But we had a long talk and he understands that I love your dad now. I don't have any feelings for Will, Amy. That's the truth. But if your dad found out that while he was away, I'd been seeing my ex-boyfriend, well, he'd be worried and upset, wouldn't he? And I don't want him to be upset for no reason, do you? That's something my mum would do. Mm -hmm. And you're not your mum? I am mostly. But maybe I've got some of my dad in there, too. Mm. Well, that is probably why I love you so much. I'm sorry I've been a pig. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> mm. We don't have to tell Dad about Sam, though, do we? No way. Strictly girls talk, Matt. Uh, may I recommend the chef special? It's a um, black cod with a miso marinade. It goes very well with the Sauvignon one. Actually, uh, it goes better with a sancerre. Yeah. Um, I'll give you a few minutes, shall we? <clears throat> so, how are you? How do you think? What do you think you're playing at, Robert? Nick knows this isn't what I wanted. Well, then it's easily fixed then, isn't it? Two risottos for table three. Well, you're not a bad man. I know you're not. So why are you doing this? Ah, I see you're up to speed. Well, surely you don't think that this is right? Hey, look, Robert gave me the so job, I'm not asking you to take sides. So you've already taken this? Well, he built this place up from scratch. It's his business. <clears throat> Which he sold to me through blackmail. You know I knew nothing about that. Yeah, but you're happy to reap the benefit, aren't you? Yeah, so that makes you just as bad as Tracy. Uh, I was hoping you might see my point of view. I still need you back here as manager, Liam. Shrey, told you it was pointless. Well, would you be willing to sell Nick back his share? Well, you know it's the right thing to do. I, I'm not proud of what happened, but when it comes to buying this place, I've done nothing wrong. Oh, uh, right, just let me let me think about it. Okay. What been to? Really? Mm. When you were a kid, that would fix everything: graze on the knee, bad mark at school, fight in the playground. It's a shame life's got a little bit more complicated, eh? Oh, James, I wish I could help.
I, uh, I think uh, Sean's on his way to the Rovers. Oh, right. Is, um, is Todd back yet? Not yet, no. Is everything all right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything's fine. Ooh. Oh, oh, is that what I think it is? Would you like one? Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. All right. So are you? I've just come from the police station. Why? Because I had to tell him he really killed Callum. Are you winding me up? No. I'm sorry, Jason, I should have told you before. <sighs> but it was your dad. He told me so himself. Tony killed Callum. Hey. Hey. Amy's staying for tea. Sorry if that undermines you, but uh, she's apologised for her behaviour. Thought it was a bit mean not to let her. No, I think you're right. I think I've been a bit hard on her. And you. Shut up. <laughs> hmm. Well, I like the way you say sorry. Good. Mm. Mm. Excuse me, this is private. You must be Steve. Saskia, please. I'm sorry. You can't just come barging oh, in. Oh, I think we can. I tried to explain and she wouldn't listen. What's going on? They've been having an affair. While she was planning my wedding, she was trying to steal my fiance. <sighs> Coronation Street's back in half an hour.